YouTube family. It's the Bearded Black Cowboy again coming to you with another gun review. Uh, but before I get into uh, the review, I want to give a big shout out. Bearded Black Cowboy, what's up to Beard Samson of Beauty and the Bearded. This is their apparel line. You know, I've talked about them before, man. You want to grow a beard and you want your beard fresh, so fresh and so clean and so soft, man. Check out Beard Samson at Beauty and the Bearded. Check it out. Some nice, fresh apparel, man. Every beard needs a beauty, and every beauty needs a beard. <laughs> so check them out, man. Hey, so listen, today I have another one of uh, our clients, our good friend, uh, Harold's uh, Guns. Harold's uh, email and contact information on the website. He's a great CPA. He's the best CPA. Uh, will be in the sub sub uh, description below, okay? So when you're liking and subscribing to this video and commenting, please do that. Uh, also check out uh, Harold. But uh, we're doing his CZ. P10C, meaning compact uh, 9mm pistol, man, fresh out of the box, although it's in my hand. Daddy, it's behind you! Let go of my gun, dude! Let go of my gun! Let go! Stop struggling! Let go! Let go! Let go! Let go! Let go! Let go! No, no, I don't have anything! I have... So you ask me, is this gun fresh out of the box, combat ready? <laughs> Let me just tell you in, in Texas speak. Hell yeah, y'all. <laughs> right? Um, combat ready. Had a suspect behind me. Had somebody trying to assault me. Had somebody trying to fight me. Had somebody grabbing my gun, wouldn't let go. Had to do a compression shot. Shot the gun, took it out of battery. Tried to shoot again, it wouldn't shoot did a tap rack bang on what was symbolizing as this person's head, nose, face, temple, whatever, skin, uh, tapped it, boom, racked it on the nylon of the heavy bag symbolizing his face, nose, skin, bridge of his nose, whatever, came back in, got back into the fight. Fire permit from any position I put it in. You saw, I put it first, we put it here, right? Then we put it here, then we put it here, then we put it, we put it in all types of different positions. The gun still fired. That's what you're looking for fresh out of the box, okay? For your weapon to do what it's meant to do, save your life. It's a deadly weapon. It's not a toy. We can call them, com uh, we can call them competition guns and all this stuff. But bottom line, they're deadly weapons. They need to do their job right out of the box before we test them, all right? So I didn't have time to test the sights. Uh, baby girl said, Daddy, look out behind you. There was a threat behind me. I had to get down and take care of business. That's what we did. All right, so again, we're reviewing. Let me make safe the, the gun. Has an ambidextrous, ambidextrous, man, uh, slide release. Um, um, excuse me, magazine release. Ambidextrous. That means on this side of the gun, I can push this button here, release the slide, and on this side of the gun, I can push the slide release and release the slide. So it's an ambidextrous slide release. It has a trigger safety. You can see the serrations on the slide. Makes it easy to rack it either front, back, however you prefer. Has a good bull nose on the side on the sights. So, you know, for racking purposes, if my hand goes down or whatever, I can rack it on my belt, I can rack it on my shoe, can rack it on somebody's nose, face, and or eye, can do all of that. Also has a Picatinny rail on the bottom and all that good stuff for you to uh, put your attachments and all that looky loo good stuff on there and dress it up, uh, your gun. So um, it's definitely combat ready. It continued to fire, it stayed in the fight uh, no matter what I was doing. So. Um, let's let's go over here real quick to the steel. I know you want to hear some audible feedback, so let's go over here to the steel. The thing, folks, the thing about combat readiness and fighting is our guns not only need to be combat ready, but you need to be combat ready, or your battle buddy needs to be combat ready. Person with you, you got to be <laughs> able to throw these things too. But in a fight, 
if you're hit, if you've sustained a concussion, if you've been shot, if you've been stabbed, if you have an anxiety attack, um, all those things that can go on in a fight, especially fighting for your life. Uh, what do you do? What do you do in your training? What are you doing to prepare for that? It's better to prepare as awkward as it is, as weird as it may feel, as crazy as you may look, rolling around on the ground and doing different things. It's better to experience that in training than in real life and have not experienced it, hadn't seen it before. So what we do out here at the greatest range in Texas at Alloy Arms is we put our clients through, we put ourselves through those types of scenarios that may occur in real life so that if they do, we say, ha ha, your mind subconsciously says, I've been here before, I've survived this. It's all about gunfight win, baby, okay? So I wanna give a shout out quickly to uh, Drunk Busters. Uh, Drunk Busters has sent me their uh, goggles. These simulate a DUI if you're intoxicated. But what we use them for is if you've sustained a concussion and you've gotten dizzy. So I'm gonna bang some steel. I'm gonna put on the drunk buster glasses. But before I put on the glasses, I want y'all to see that when I'm shooting the steel, that the sights here, rack, right? That the sights here are on point and then I'm on point, bing, bing. And then we'll put on the drunk buster glasses and we'll see if I can see, if I can pick up the steel, if I should be discharging my weapon if I've been concussed or should I not be, or should I train more? Here we go. Now, oh. A lot of people ask too, sometimes, why do I hold my gun like that instead of straight up and down sometimes? Here's the deal. If you're in a fight, my, me being left-handed, if I'm in a fight and I throw that hand, you see that? Your hand anatomically turns over. So it's not gangster style when you're shooting, hand anatomically turns over. If my gun was at the end of my hand, it would look like that. So when I pull it back to shoot, it's at an angle. Will your gun fire at an angle, or are you just relying on it to fire straight up and down traditionally? So, here we go. Picking up the sight, right away, bang. Okay, right away, right. Hit that slide, or hit that magazine release. Come on back, okay. Gun's ready again, let's see. Bang, bang, bang. So I'm picking the sight up nice and easy, right? Out here, what, 45 feet or whatever? Now I'm gonna put on the drunk buster glasses to simulate getting popped in my head or something like that. The, can, can the camera pick that up? How weird that look? Woo! So with this new CZP10C 9 millimeter, can I pick up that steel? Um, will the sights pop out? Um, let's see how it looks. Oh, I can tell you right now, folks, it's, you put these on, it ain't no joke. I gotta find my gun. It's crazy. I'm seeing like, I'm seeing four targets. Let's see. Woo! So y'all see, with these Drunk Buster goggles on. We got one church bell ding. But with these Drunk Buster goggles simulating you being concussed and dazed at a distance especially. If your suspect or is your assailant at a distance, should you really be firing? Closing that gap, it may be easier to hit your target, but hitting a 12 inch steel target at 45 feet with Drunk Buster glasses on is not impossible, but it's difficult and you need to train it. We need to train more. All right, so now that we've gotten our heart rate up a little bit and stressed the gun, banged the sights, did all that, it's going over to our blue tape, huh? What you think, baby? You like it? I like this one. Let's look at that dually tree. I like this gun, man. <laughs> I like it. Harold, you got a good gun, brother. I like it. So here we go, like we always do. We're gonna check the bounce of the gun, horizontal with the vertical, and then we'll uh, check the small grouping and all that good stuff. So, baby girl, you ready? Yeah, you ear it up, get up? Mm -hmm. Say what's up to the people. Hi. <laughs> Here we go, let's check it. Nine. Nine. Take your 
right back up. Kick your right back up. Yeah. So come up just a little bit. So all I did is just want to make sure that I'm picking that gun up, boom, as soon as I fire. So boom, boom. And then a couple, a little bit more express trigger pull, three down the same hole. Okay. Um, is the CZ P10 C, meaning compact, ready to fire, ready to go straight out of the box? Let's say it again, real Texas, y'all. Hell yeah, y'all. It's ready. Hell, it's ready to go. Um, I want y'all to see the reset of the uh, of the trigger too. So, when I pull the trigger initially, here's the slack, the take up of the trigger. Okay. When I pull the trigger initially, boom. If it were to recoil, okay, and I reset it, that's a small, quick reset, man. You're right back on that trigger. Right now, right away, get it on, get it done. All right, so this comes uh, in a very nice box. Here, let's go up and look at the box real quick, baby. Let's go up real quick. Come on, come on, come on. Look at it. So the gun would come with two magazines in the box. It would come like this. It comes with interchangeable grips. I didn't change anything. All we did was open it up and to make sure it was combat ready, we went ahead ahead of the video and um, loaded up the magazines. The magazine is a double stack 15 round magazine, which gives you 16 and one. It comes with two 15 round magazines, which gives the gun 16 and one firing power. Today we were using American Eagle pistol cartridges, nine millimeter Lugers, uh, 115 grains. Um, gun didn't jam, gun did its job, man. So again, Oh, it comes, look, look at the case it comes in, man. Guns are getting more stylish and more fashionable uh, than anything. So, anyway, is the gun combat ready? Is it good? Is it sighted in out of the box? Heck yeah, I love it. Uh, I, you know, it's a striker fire gun, internal fire. I love it, man. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, me clowning and doing all, some of that stuff, man. Don't try that stuff without an experienced trainer with you or without the experience that life and that God gives you and that your profession. Many people don't know, I'm a former police officer, man. Um, not just a patrol officer, but I served time on the gang unit. I served time on Metro SWAT and K-9 unit. That's where I served the majority of my career. So if you're wondering where this experience, where this knowledge comes from, first of all, it comes from my God-given uh, abilities that God gave me. And then my former profession allows me to do some of this stuff and straight talk give you real talk and not something I read out of a book, not dogging any of my peers out there on YouTube creating these gun videos, but I just want you to know some of where my life is going, all right? And <laughs> I grew up in the hood, not the country, baby, so <laughs> I wasn't shooting at folks, but I've been shot at more than once. Anyway, y'all crazy, man. Anyway, I'll uh, give a shout out to Beard, <laughs> uh, Beauty and the Beard and Beard Samson. Always like, subscribe, comment, let's build those followers up. Check out Harold, man, and Harold, you got a great gun. Thanks for blessing me and allowing me to be the first to shoot it. God bless y'all. Love y'all. Check me out Monday through Saturday now, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. on my radio show live. Call in 347-308-8988, beardedblackcowboy.com. God bless you. We'll talk to y'all later.